Hello everybody and welcome back to the stream. Today I am joined by Jonas. Is that my cue to introduce myself? Yes. All right. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Jonas. I haven't uh, introduced myself in the modding community yet, but uh, I'm basically uh, the new Simon, but named Jonas. The new Simon, but Jonas. Yes. And he's mod king, as I introduced. Uh, earlier. Yes, that is my new uh, title, and it's only my contract uh, as of now that I'm the new mod king. Did you kill Simon? As Chad asks. I can't uh, either confirm or deny uh, any awareness of uh, Simon. And okay. if you have seen Simon, there uh, might be uh, ghosts. All right, man of mystery. I like it. Should we get right into things? Yes. All right. Take it away. So, uh, quick this. Quick disclaimer, everything I'm about to show now is uh, still work in progress and uh, might be subject to change or not be in the final build. That's the usual disclaimer people say, right? Yeah, yeah. not right. less, it just <laughs> talked about all kinds of things that are going to be in the game, but I uh, I appreciate the caution. Yes. Alright, so first off I'm going to take my amazing mod car that I prepared before. Alright, so uh, we got some uh, exciting new mod features to show here. So I am excited. I'm excited too, as well. See all the hype in the shots. Let's see, what's the first one we got here? Alright, uh, the first one is uh, more of a helper to uh, like build worlds more easily. Uh, so basically what it does is that it recasts the uh, cursor, and you can see the numbers here on where in the world the position is. And you can also start recording clicks. Uh, and this should help uh, help you get positions in the world to place your objects better. Okay, so that's for, for the precise building. Yes. And you need the exact coordinates of your cursor. Exactly. So it should help uh, help with that, I hope. Otherwise it was a waste of time, but hopefully not. Some Middleburger asked, did it automatically hop into the car as it spawned? Yes. Interesting. Uh, I can... Uh, I, yeah, I did that. Uh, okay. so it's, it's a feature now. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's a leak in a leak. That's a leak. Yeah, it's a leak. <laughs> Alright. Should do that in uh, most of the games now. Or maps. Alright. Uh, All right. Do you have a question? Yeah, because uh, aside from modding, we also took some questions for the, from the Discord, as we usually do. So we're going to try to zigzag a little bit in between looking at Jonas' cool mods here and answering questions. Uh, Simply Liu from Discord asks, A lot of time people uh, complained that the tiny cannon bullets were too slow. Couldn't you increase the bullet speed a little bit? Something like twice what it is right now would be really good. And we had a question from the development team answer. We are going to improve the tiny cannon for 1.7, but we probably won't change the bullet speed. So it'll be exciting to find out what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Tiny cannon buff is coming. That's cool. What else we got on the modding board? All right, let's check out the second one. Uh, also, a shout out to uh, Franz who has been working a lot uh, with me to add all of this stuff. And he's in the chat right now. In the chat, it's Yalikt. Sorry. Sorry for watching that probably. And I believe uh, he's also a moderator now. So uh, be careful in the chat. Don't piss off Yalikt. No, be friendly to us. Alright, so uh, this is one of the uh, re requested features that we got. Uh, and to not spoil that, you can, you can add a camera. To every player. So, press the other camera and then activate. I oh, see that is cool. Like, people can actually make like cinematics when in thrill, within thrill makers with this. Yes. Uh, and also, since uh, it's uh, everything work in progress. Let's see if oh, this F4 is. Annoying. That's a around. completely static camera there. Yep. Filming. So you can make your own little movies without uh, having to use another player as a camera. 
Exactly. And you can also update the uh, position of the camera if you want to. Oh! So you can have triggers when you go into zones to move the camera and uh, show different angles. This is about to change the YouTube game, I feel like, in the Trailmakers community. Yeah, hopefully. Now you don't need a block to uh, yeah. get your views and you can Damn. just mod it. That is so cool. We can take another question here while you uh, find out what we're going to do next. Um, Rage asks, everyone, yes, everyone in the community wants more slope pieces. Are there any plans on adding some? And we have an answer from Rune Holland here. Uh, we know, uh, but we cannot add all the blocks requested without cluttering the builder inventory and taking lots of resources to make. So we hope to add more in the future, but nothing is planned right now when it comes to slope pieces. We'll have to wait a little, uh, a little longer for that. Um, we can do another one here from Stryker. Hello, could you please allow the distance sensor to detect movements of smart cannon slash machine gun slash rocket launcher? That would be a nice way to build guided missiles, radars, or automatic defense system. And want to get once again, we have Rune jamming in here. This is unlikely to happen, but we understand the underlying desire to build targeting weapons. We might add a specific block to do that in the future, but not in 1.7. So, uh, yeah. There are a few things that are not happening right now. But things that are happening right now are Jonas and his mods. Yeah. Let's return to mod number two. No. Let's see what's no. behind. And number three. Number three? Yeah. Sorry. Let's see what's behind door number three. Got any more unintended leaks? That's the yeah. point of unintended leaks, though. Yeah. We don't mean for them to happen. But maybe uh, but maybe Jonas screws up again. I, I don't have any planned leaks, at least. <laughs> I might be more un unintended. Alright, so uh, this might be a little bit self-explanatory what it does. Uh, it's a mod that can uh, change the uh, time of day settings. And to show some features that you can use with it is that the barrel that spawns... There? Uh, it spawns between 90 and uh, the next day 30. So you can have night stuff happen. Only at night. Yeah, if you want to. Or only at day. It's uh, yeah. up to you. So you can have objects that only exist at a certain point during the day. Exactly. So we can uh, toggle it, we can uh, set the duration to... I was 8 or something with the mod. But set it to okay. 80 in seconds. Now it should be a little bit slower to progress. Now you can see the current time of day, so you can track that. So you're making you can make kind of a Minecraft setup and have like creepers spawn at night. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like make your own survival uh, survival mod for trail makers. That's sick, I agree, Scott Ryan. The upside down. Oh yeah. You can even do like a stranger things kind of kind of a thing. Yeah, the whole world is gonna change. That's cool. Makers. That is cool. We'll take another question here from <clears throat> Kobolos. Who asked, how do you decide what box glitches can be left in the game uh, as an unintentional feature? What, which one is your favorite? And Finn says, the remote control glitch in all its combined fun factor and brokenness. That is quite a fun glitch. Uh, Wuna says, a glitch may remain if it's overall beneficial until a feature creating the same experiences can be added to replace it. But it's all a matter of how much good it does versus how much trouble it causes. That's fair enough. Yeah, it's, uh, pretty much, that's pretty much game development for you. I like that. Straight to the point. Cool. What's behind door number four? Behind door number four? Yeah. We have some uh, nice boxes here. Ghost boxes? Yeah, ghost boxes. And if you drive through them... What, what do the ghost boxes do? They change uh, the color on all your blocks. They change the color? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's interesting. And it's not the trigger doing that, it's uh, yes trigger that calls functions to set okay. the block color. And I just do it in all the blocks, that's why. It's so, proper. so if you do like a race, you could have like uh, your color change based on what lab you're on. Yeah, stuff like that. You can yeah. do... Uh, if you separate into teams, you can have the first three in blue and the other part red or something. That's cool. 
update the, update the colors here if you want to. Ooh, and how do you make these blocks? Uh, the blocks? Or the color changing thingies? Uh, it uh, takes all the structures and goes through all the blocks and structure and uh, set the color to it. Okay. So here it reads the uh, current color of it. Alright. Awesome. So, uh, new color functionality on the box is coming. New color functionality on the block is coming. You heard it here first. I would surprise <laughs> if you had heard it anywhere else first. But no. We will take a question from Middleburg. I know he's in the chat. And he asked, when you guys decided to let us uh, suggest features for 1.7, were you expecting the thousands of suggestions that keep pouring in? Do you all manage to see them all and keep track of the good ones? And we got a pretty good answer from Andreas here, who's also in the chat, I believe, who says, I don't think we, uh, we would have such a huge... Uh, I didn't think we would have such a huge response and so many request suggestions. Just goes to show we have a very dedicated community. That's amazing. Fune are monitoring all suggestions and taking notes. There's a lot of features that can be combined when you start to design. With that being said, we scheduled this update to come out this year, so we have to pick and choose what to spend our resources on. They won't be forgotten, and there will be a 1.8 at some point. Well, that is good to know. And I actually know there's a one last question within this question, which is, Johannes, do you use any cool products on your beard? Because mine is a mess. I do not use any products in my beards. I just uh, watch it from time to time and save it. I think that's that's pretty much the secret to my beard. But in Nordic jeans. The that's Nordic it. jeans, the Viking jeans, yeah. And you never see it really up close here on the stream, but it can be quite a, quite a mess in real life too. Don't worry, every guy's beard is a mess uh, from time to time. Ain't nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, thank you for the question. We can take one more here. And that is from a uh, forklift certified engineer. <laughs> Hello. About how many members are in the Trailmakers team at Flashbulb? We are hovering around 15 to 20 people at the moment. But people are moving a little back and forth from time to time between the Trailmakers and the Rubber Bandits slash Rubber Royale team, depending on... Uh, where help is needed. But you've been on the Trailmakers team for a while now, right? Yeah, I've been 100% uh, on the Trailmakers team, so don't worry. I will uh, keep doing this. Jonas is your man. But have you been on the rubber team as well? Or have you? No. You've only ever been on Trailmakers. Yeah. All right. Well, he's 100% dedicated. I'm a little both places, but mostly Trailmakers. So together, we are probably 90% Trailmakers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you want for a Trailmakers stream. Exactly. Uh, what I should be washing my beard? Nonsense. It helps. It's washing in general, not just your beard. You should be washing your entire body. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's behind door number five. Yeah, that's one for today. And uh, this is like a little bit of a UI improvement, but not much. But. There should pop up messages that uh, this one's example. It pops up every five seconds. Uh, there's a duration you can set, and it uh, shows a message to everyone on the server. Oh! You can also change the icon, and you can uh, send it to one specific player as well. And that's awesome. Can you write anything? Like, can you put a custom text in there? Yeah. Uh, all the text here is uh, the things I put in. Okay. So don't be naughty or something. Okay. Be nice. Can we change it right now? Or is that too much of a... Uh, without breaking the entire no, thing? No, no, it's, it's modding, so I can, I can change to whatever. If I okay. go to desktop. And... Yeah, okay. Maybe we won't do that right now. Yeah, can't do it in-game, but... Uh, but I believe in you when you say it works. It works. It's, it's flawless. That's really cool. Uh, custom image as well. Yeah, is it a custom image or like a set of icons you can choose between? Uh, it's a custom, so you uh, the mod will uh, load an image and you can use that image. Surely, that, uh, what what can go wrong there? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> be nice, <laughs> be nice. <laughs> like how it's usually handled. Yes. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, Jonas has taken us a bit round much. 
if you have any uh, question regarding mods, now's the time. Otherwise, you know, he's very present in the modding Discord channel. But if you want things answered right live here on stream, it's probably best to do it while he's here. Because I can't, uh, I can't answer all the many questions about mods. And that's why I have him. Has the download and sharing speed on custom objects and stuff been improved? We uh, have been looking at the solution that we can uh, start doing. Uh, and we are planning to do some improvements for 1.7. But we'll see. If, uh, if these things break, then uh, that's higher priority. Awesome. Well, yeah, I don't know if you have anything else to share or... I do. I actually forgot to share a thing that uh, Ooh. Ross wanted me to share. Yes. Let's see it. Or hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need to show Discord and I need a browser. We'll take care of that right now. Meanwhile, I can take another question while uh, Jonas takes care of this. First is Jonah asks, Will you ever add the ability of the player to limit for how far a piston is able to extend for? There's no plans for this, um, and the piston already have a lot of settings, maybe even too many settings. But maybe in the future is the theme with the questions today, I think. And, well, we have a question from Parasol. Is there any plans to expand upon the UI options for modding, such as styling? UI, I have a fan in here, and it's incredibly annoying with these papers <laughs> when I hold them like this. Is there any plans to expand upon the UI options for modding, such as styling UI elements as well as positions and sizes? I'm not gonna answer that here, because Franz made a really good answer for it. Yeah, but I was about to read Franz's answer. Yeah. Franz says, We haven't worked on this yet, but we're discussing it for 1.7. Uh, but agreed that uh, there were other mod things that were more important at the moment. But we agree that it should be improved. The current window feels a little too much like a development tool and we want to improve the user experience of modding. We did add the subtle message messages which gives modders a little bit more direct UI feedback. And uh, that was the one I showed before, number five. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Well, it all comes together tied around in a little knot. All right, so the first thing uh, I want to show is uh, the thing Franz made. He made a new... Uh modding forum where you can uh, check out some uh, tutorials uh, you can check out people's uh, cool modding stuff and you can discuss modding features so showcase all the cool stuff you're making and uh, talk about all the new stuff coming in and uh, how to use it awesome and so remember uh, that if you're a modder yeah to go in there and use that it's up to you to make it great you make yeah. it good, you make it great. Oh, that's a tagline. Yeah, and therefore the second thing that uh, Francis made is he has made a uh, Wikipedia kind of thing uh, on conference where we have uh, heard a lot of guides and uh, documentation of uh, how things work. And uh, that's an effort to try to make it easier to share uh, documentation, basically. Oh, is it also to get like new people into modding or? Yeah, it's uh, quite hard to get into modding when you yeah. use. I, I want to mod, uh, and there's not not that not that much information. So yeah, this is one of our efforts we're making to make it more streamlined and easier for people to get into. So you can see uh, all the mod stuff here and how to do things and getting started. Awesome. So, so what is that called? How do people get in there? Is it uh, pinned in the Discord or something? I think it should be pinned. Uh, if it's not pinned, then I uh, it guarantee that Francis not will, uh, pinned yet. Fix but friends is uh, <laughs> guaranteed on it. Okay, that's really cool. And everyone can access that because I know right now we have some uh, role registrations that you have to be as a modder to post it there. But I'm pretty sure everyone can actually see the channels, but you might not be able to post in there depending on what your role is yeah and also the documentation is uh, closed for now yeah. okay but we're discussing uh strategies to open it up make okay. it easier for mothers to share their experience awesome a little modipedia 
for Trail Makers. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. It's free for all at the moment, says friends. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Be nice. Be nice. Don't be naughty. Thank you so much for sharing uh, all these cool things. Well, thank you for having me. And, of course. Uh, keep on modding. Keep on modding.